This is Kiran from Back for Tech, and in today's video, we'll be discussing something about GIMP, the photo editor. So, it is a free open source software which you'll be able to download uh, into your uh, Linux or even into your Windows to edit your photos. This is a free software. Uh, it, it can even be compared to something like a Photoshop, which is a comprehensive tool, but it doesn't have the feature of something like uh, content aware fill or something of that sort. So. Uh, in this uh, video, I will be discussing a method through which you will be able to change an embedded text in a picture and we will be able to, I will try to uh, insert uh, a text of my own, right. So this is what I am looking for. Uh, I will show it uh, with two examples and uh, maybe by looking into these things, uh, if you could follow the steps, then you will be able to do this uh, with ease, right. So we will not waste any more time, we will we'll, uh, go into the computer and from there we will see uh, how it can be done, right. So this is my uh, computer and uh, as you could see, uh, I already have two images. Uh, so this is uh, the th thumbnail of my previous image. So what I will do is I will try to uh, remove uh, all this text from this particular image. And uh, this one is basically a screenshot of uh, this particular desktop. So what I will do is I will try to remove this text and I will try to insert a text of my own. right? So what I will do is I will right click on this thing and I will open it with uh, something like uh, our GIMP tool. Right? I will be selecting it. So this is a GIMP uh, 2.8. I believe the 2.10 version is out. So I haven't upgraded it to 2.10. So we'll see uh, in a separate video, probably in a separate video, I will try to install the thing and I will uh, we'll look into the differences of uh, 2.8 and uh, 2.10. Right. So uh, this is... Uh, our image. So what I will do is I will press on my control and I will go with uh, my scroll wheel to zoom in into the image. I'll be pressing on space bar and I'll be moving the thing in such a way that uh, the exact area is uh, copied. Right, right. So the exact area is uh, on my screen. So uh, once this is selected. Uh, what I need to do is uh, I will go into this this uh, this option. This option is called as a clone tool uh, option. So once it is selected, uh, it will look something similar to this thing. Uh, so it means that the reference area for the clone is not selected. So I should not select the reference area from something like this area because uh, this and this has got a drastic difference in uh, color, right? So the color should exactly match something similar to this thing. So if you are selecting a nearby area, then it will be well and good. So what I will do is I will select an area, something similar to this thing, so that this color and this color is basically matching to itself. So if I could select this particular area as the reference, then it will look something uh, similar. You will be able to adjust the size of the brush, uh, the aspect ratio and the angle from this, uh, this uh, menu. You can al always go into this particular option and and select uh, the exact hardness of your brush. For this demonstration, I will be going with the hardest brush, right? Now, uh, we need to select the reference area. For that, what I will do is I will press on my control button and I will click on the area which I need as reference. So I will be clicking here so that this area is selected as my reference. Once this is selected, I will be uh, clicking on the area which I need to uh, delete. So once this is done, let us say line by line, we will be able to do these things. Right. Once this is done, the whole uh, line is deleted. Similarly, if you want to delete this thing also, what you can do is you can click on the reference at this point and once, sorry, once it is selected, you can click on the area which you want to delete. So be gentle, be slow and uh, try to remove everything yeah, here there is a difference because uh, that, uh, yeah, right, once this is done, you can, what you can do is you can click on this area and you can delete these things, right, you can zoom out of the image, so there is a slight difference in uh, in that, uh, in this, uh, this area, but it will not uh, look bad, once this is done, you can go into the text option, or you can click on the area which you want to have that uh, text, so here what I will do is I will write back for tech Linux, right? I will be selecting all, I will be changing the color, I will be going with something like yellow. Yellow was the default color over there. So what I will do is I will go with yellow, I will be clicking on OK. Uh, I will be increasing the size. 
I'll be selecting all. Uh, I'll be changing the color to something like yellow. Yellow, yellow is the color which okay, which the previous text was the right. I'll be increasing the size. This looks of good. Uh, even I can change the font if it is if it is okay. I'll go with the, this is just the demonstration text, so I'll go with this particular font. Uh, once this is done, you can go into the mode tool. Once you go into the mode tool, you can select the whole thing. And you will be able to move it and place it in such a manner that it exactly matches right so once everything is done you can go into the file option uh, you can either save this thing as uh, the editable format or what you can do is you can go into the export as option and you can select uh, in which uh, format you want to save i'll be selecting the basic jpeg option jpeg uh, somewhere over here uh, i'll be saving it I'll be removing the PNG also, so I'll be saving it. Example one dot chip. I'll be saving it. Uh, I'll be saving it in the default uh, format. Right. Once this is done, uh, you will be able to see the image. So this is what we have created. Uh, this was the sorry. This was the older older image. This was uh, the edited image. So as you could see, there are uh, very small differences between uh, only the text has been changed, right? So it is something very similar. Right? So I will go with the second image. Second image also, I'll be opening it with uh, our uh, GIMP tool. Once it is selected, it will open up and it will look something similar to this thing. So this is the part which, which I need to uh, remove, right? So again, I'll be selecting my clone tool. Uh, once it is selected, I'll be selecting the hardest brush. Uh, I'll be selecting the size. Let us say if uh, this size is uh, really small, right? So for this thing, I need to increase the size. Something like 40 will be, I believe 40 will be good. No, I need something like 50 or 60. I'll go with 60. Yeah, 60, even 70, 75 will be good. Right? So that I, the whole one line is uh, deleted. So again, as you could see, this background is white. Uh, so this will be really easy. Uh, I do have some shadows and other things, but uh, let us say I want to copy this area, right? So I'll be clicking on control. I'll be selecting the area. Once it is selected, I will go with, uh, sorry. I'll be pressing on the control and I'll be selecting the area. Once it is selected, I can go with something similar. Right, once it is selected, again, here also I need to because uh, this is a black background, I don't think we do have much of the problems. In the previous one, we had some color uh, gradient in between, so it was difficult. Uh, but in this case, uh, the background was white, so it was really easy. So I, I, the reference was taken only once. All right. Even if, if you don't want to have this particular logo, what you can do is you can remove that one also. Once this is removed, you can add uh, your text, uh, your own text over here and you will be able to save it as uh, uh, JPEG or PNG. I hope uh, this information is useful. So please try out these things in your uh, uh, photo editing right. Uh, all the best and uh, bye bye for now. We'll see you with something new next time. Bye bye.